What's up guys, Jesse here from F is and Frank. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about zippers really briefly. So, easy way to date items of clothing that have zippers is by the zipper. Um, currently, uh, a company called YKK pretty much has the uh, entire zipper market. Um, so if you find a garment that has a YKK zipper, it's probably not that old. Um, early zippers were primarily Talon, that was the biggest company. Uh, second to that, you had Conmar. You had another company called Scoville. You had a company called Walds. In England and Canada, you had Lightning. Um, there's this zipper, old zipper company called Prentice. There's a number of them, and there's lots of resources. There's actually books out there that just solely speak about zippers and how to date them and their interesting patent information and the development of zipper technology over time. So when those are the dates of YKK? Um, I'm not an expert on it, but just going off memory, I think YKK started to show up around the 70s um, uh, in, in some instances. Um, but, but I believe by the 80s, they, they had pretty much taken over the market and Talon was being phased out at that point. And when is the invention of the zipper, uh, roughly? Uh, roughly the turn of the century. There are some really, really early, early zipper zippers um, that are from the tens and the twenties um, there's tons of resources out there Japan is obviously the leading place if you if you're looking for resources about zippers um, but there are actually some Instagram accounts that I follow I think one is called ball band b-a-l-l-b-a-n-d we'll link it here we'll link it um, and it's that's an Instagram account run by a Japanese fellow that just is about zippers so um, interesting photographs of unique zippers zipper pulls uh, interesting uses of zippers and so forth um, but yeah I'd say definitely around the turn of the century early 1900s is when the inception of the zipper happened but let's talk about this one here so this is a talon zipper um, now your earliest zippers uh, typically had what what I call like a fan pull so this is a talon pull here, an early one from the 30s, that um, you can see it fans out. Um, it's not a straight pull, it's, it's thinner at the top and wider at the bottom. So Conmar had zippers like this, Hookless had fan pulls, Talon certainly had fan pulls, and earlier zipper pulls were more ornate. Um, they had a lot of detailing, and um, which is kind of indicative of the um, Art Deco period. Another thing that you can always look for on early zippers is these stoppers at the top, these, these clamps that look like C's. Um, th these were used through the 40s um, and earlier, and after that, they ended up start, they started using just these uh, little ball type clamps to stop the zippers. Um, now this is something that you're going to really want to look for if you're looking for early zippers. Um, this is what we call a grommeted zipper. Uh, reason being these grommets that hold the zipper, uh, that, that fasten the zipper itself to the garment. It's actually uh, so much stronger that they did that because it stops the zipper from ripping off the jacket exactly. at the bottom. Exactly, because the typical problem was the tape, the zipper tape, would always pull off because this was a point of high stress. So th these these grommets literally, f you know, clamped the zipper tape to the jacket. Um, obviously, you can see here really early versions of the male and female uh, parts of the zipper here. Um, later on, in in the late 30s, early 40s, Talon would start to use uh, a different bottom here that had a really interesting ornate art deco uh, design on it uh, and we'll try to link a picture in this video as well um, so yeah that's what a grommet zipper looks like um, very functional design obviously <coughs> was made strictly for function and there you have it Hey guys, uh, thanks for listening. I hope the information that I provided for you was uh, useful and interesting and insightful. Um, we're gonna be doing lots of videos based around vintage clothing and the vintage clothing industry and business. Um, 
Drew and I are also working on a really, really unique project for motivated, positive vintage resellers. Um, sign up, click the link at the bottom. You can sign up for the mailing list to learn more about it as time goes on. It's a really cool program, so I really encourage you to check it out. And um, thanks again for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up button at the bottom. Thanks so much.